the time to keep your heart calm, just as you are to worship, calm, just as you are before.
Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord God Almighty. said himself that salvation salvation is of the Jewish people it came from the Jewish people every apostle is Jewish Jesus himself came from the Jewish nation and God has something important for the church his bride to know do you know that God says that he never changes he never God does not change his yesterday, today, and forever is the same. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't change his mind toward his people. And he doesn't change his mind toward you. So God has not changed his mind toward Israel. And I pray and I believe the church is going to recognize Israel again. The Jewish people, who they are, what place they take have in God's heart and in the Bible. God does not quit. We do quit. We quit to seek His face. We quit to believe. We quit to, uh, you know, to um, uh, be hungry and thirsty for righteousness. Jesus said Himself, Blessed are those who are hunger and thirst. Can you imagine a sinner somewhere? Is he hungry and thirsty for righteousness? No way. He does not know what it is. He doesn't understand what does it mean to be hungry and thirsty for righteousness. It's you and I that Jesus says, oh my God, I feel the anointing. <laughs> it's you and I, we need to be hungry and thirsty for righteousness. What moves me and my team uh, in a bigger scale, smaller scale, to travel, uh, travel across Canada? is to see these things happening everywhere. And we do have testimonies coming to us every day that people do get touched by the Spirit of God. And that's what it's all about. All right? I'm not a church builder. That's not what God has called me to be. <laughs> I am a church mover. <laughs> Amen? Something that the church needs. They, the church needs us and we need the church. We need each other. Amen. And I just pray that these things will happen. Again, it's very important to, I guess, tonight to recognize our calling. Our calling. It is interesting that... Uh, at the beginning, the gospel was given to the world through the Jewish people. They went forth and never spared their life even just to bring the gospel to the, Jew, to, 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 to the world, to the Gentiles. They were not ashamed. They were not afraid. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God to salvation to the Jewish people first and then to the world. Now we need to recognize this calling today. We need to understand that um, if it came from the Jews, it is important to know that uh, the Jewish people are very much still involved in that. How many of you are familiar with the gifts of the Spirit? You heard about them. It means if you heard about them, 
you're probably not experiencing them yet. Is that right? All right. The gifts of the Spirit, charisma, charismatic means actually means spiritual. Why am I saying he's restoring that? Because the first church, the church that the Jewish people had, they had that. Have you read the book of Acts? What has happened in the second chapter of the book of Acts? It has happened that 120 Jewish disciples, they were in the upper room. You've learned that. You've, you know what happened. So what happened is, the Spirit of God came upon them, and they were all baptized in the Spirit. That's where the charismatic movement began. I'll give you just a little bit of history to understand what has happened. Constantine was a man he was a Greek man. He's a philosopher. He saw the power of God moving uncontrollably in his time. And he thought to himself, if I will be able to get these people together, if I'll be able to take some kind of a, not control, but to organize these things so that connection with the government and these people will be so tight, we could, we could win the world. He didn't understand that the power of God was not the power of, on people's lives because of their own power. He, did, he didn't understand that it was the power of God. You cannot be saved because you are Catholic. You cannot be saved because you are somebody. You have to be saved because of the blood of Jesus. That's how God began to restore things. Now, why am I saying to you all these things? Why am I sharing with you these things tonight? Because we are, I believe, on the verge of these last moments of the last days. And God is, restore, God is restoring back not just the Jewish people there and there, but he is just about to restore Israel itself. We were in the United States in Seattle, Seattle, Washington, and uh, um, I was um, a guest speaker in one of the Messianic congregations. I'm not going to mention names, I'm not going to mention dates or whatever, uh, just for uh, con confidentiality, but in any case, I came to that congregation, and the congregation was quite religious. They did a lot of rituals. They were walking with Torah. They were kissing Torah. They were doing a lot of rituals. They were doing, and, and the rituality was going for an hour or so. Instead of just worshiping God, they were doing rituals. A lot of different rituals that they actually didn't really need to do. But it was coming from, again, from rabbinical Judaism. So a lot of rituals. And I thought to myself, my goodness, uh, how can you move here, God? Guess what? God has surprised us. That Saturday morning, God moved so powerfully. I preached only half an hour. The synagogue, Messianic synagogue, was full. There was over 100 people there. And I preached, and I didn't feel nothing. I felt I'm preaching to a wall, you know? Nobody's responding, nobody's just, nothing. And uh, I thought to myself, Lord, I'm done here, and I'm going to jump into the car with my family, and we, go home. we are going home. At that time, we were living in Edmonton. And uh, after I finished my message, I said, Lord, what should I do next? God says, call people to the front to pray. So I said, well, if anybody, if anybody wants to pray, come forward. Well, everybody was sitting. There was a lady, elderly lady, short little lady. I saw her moving out from her chair and moving slowly to the front. She came like that to the front. She was kind of bended a little bit. And I said, what should I pray for you? She says, I have a heart pain, such a 
pain in my heart. I don't know. I said, well, okay. I knew in my heart, in my mind actually, not my heart, I thought to myself, my God, I'll pray for this woman and I'll, I'm leaving because I guess nothing is going to happen. So I laid hands on this woman. Nobody was expecting this. She fell back on the floor like that under the power of God. And I said, ouch. And she fell back and she said, she jumped up and she said, I'm healed. I don't feel no pain. That miracle moved everybody to the front. The whole congregation was right there, standing there, praising God, worshiping, and God began to move by His Spirit. What I'm trying to say, I'm coming to the end of my story here, and I'll be praying for you. Listen to me. God wants us, God wants to bring us to two groups, to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles with the power of God. Just be sincere. Just open your heart and ask Him to do what it's need to be done in your life. God wants to touch you. God wants to impart something special in your life that you will not be the same, that you will be changed and you will change people who is around you. God wants to touch you in a special way today. It doesn't matter that we are just a few here. It doesn't matter. God loves you and He wants to touch you personally. He wants to impart something special. Just open your heart and mind and ask God to, to do whatever it needs to be done in your life. Just ask God to touch you. I will pray for you. I will pray for you that God, Jesus, that God is going to touch your life and give you that fire even more and passion for Him so that you may become His vessel in each and every way. So, Father God, I pray for Jimmy in the name of Jesus. And I pray for my sister. Fire upon her life. I just pray, fire, touch her spirit, Lord, and restore. Just bless you, Lord. Give you something that she never had before. Lord God, just touch his body. Touch his life. Hallelujah. Precious God, thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just pray for this mind. In Jesus' name, I pray for headaches. I pray for your mind. Lord God, I just rebuke that Satan in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of this life in the name of Jesus. Father God, I just give you praise. I apply the blood of Jesus right now and the power of the Holy Spirit over this life. Touch her, Lord. Touch her, Lord. Heal her. Set her free. Bless her. Break through, Lord God. Let her be filled with your spirit, Lord. Now and forevermore, I praise you, Jesus. So, Father, we give you praise for my sister, for her family, for her son. We pray. Touch her, Lord. Touch her life. Bless her, Lord. Use her for your glory. Spirit of God, come upon her. Come upon her, Lord. Fill her, Lord, to the capacity. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. It's all right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, just touch her. Touch her, Lord. Your touch is important right now. Your touch is needful, Lord Jesus. So I pray in Jesus' name. Move upon her, Jesus. Give you victory. Victory, Father God. Victory in the name of Jesus. Give you victory, Lord. Victory in Jesus' name. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God wants to, to tell you that uh, you are precious in His sight and He chose you uh, for a special purpose. He chose you as He chose Ruth to Naomi.
Ruth was a uh, um, Gentile, but she clung to Naomi. She clung to her Jewish mother-in-law. And I believe that God has a special purpose for you, that you will clung to Jewish people, to the Jewish ministries who spread the gospel, and you will learn more about uh, uh, the unity of Jew and Gentile. And you will be used by God in a mighty way here in Detroit, uh, in, in Windsor, I'm sorry. Here in Windsor, you're going to be the channel of God to touch many people, many churches, maybe many pastors, and to spread the good news that Jewish people are a part of the body of Messiah. And they need to be one. And I, I just pray for a special anointing on you right now for a special anointing in the name of Jesus. I believe you are praying for God to use you. I believe you are praying for God and asking God, what Lord, what is my purpose in life? And I believe that that's the time that God will reveal his purpose to you. This is the time, he said. This is the season. And I will raise you as I raise Ruth to be a friend and to be a supporter to Naomi, that she can uh, uh, bring a, a bed, which means servant, uh, uh, a bed, uh, their son uh, meant servant and you are uh, raised as a servant of God and you're going to be a channel, a bridge between Jew and Gentile and God's going to use you mightily in, in a such a way that you never dream of but just be available as a channel as a vessel of glory to him be available, nothing else he doesn't want you to be uh, uh, special, he doesn't want you to, to have something but he give you gifts he give you abilities, he will open the doors and he will fill your mouth with words which, which needed to say and he will give you divine appointments divine appointments in the name of Jesus thank you Lord for doing that for my sister in the name of Jesus touch her and use her in a way that you choose for her as a vessel of God in the name of Jesus so father I just pray and I lay my hands and I just ask you Lord God to anoint my sister with a double portion Lord God just give you Lord more than she ever expected just touch your Lord God touch your Lord God and give you all the power and authority that you have released that you listen into your life Lord I just pray in the name of Jesus just touch her tonight and make these things possible in Jesus mighty name I give you praise. Father, I give you praise. What is your name? Brian. Father God, I pray for Brian in the name of Jesus. Touch this man. Oh God. Restore him, Lord. Fill him with the Holy Spirit all over again. Let him, Lord, receive your blessings and the touch of God. I pray. Jesus, move. Move, my Lord. Move, my Father. Move, oh Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Precious God, just feel him. Thank you, sister, for helping. Just move upon him. Yes. Let him be new again. Renewed again. Let him be brand new and renewed again. Jesus' mighty name. You have a problem with your left knee? Yeah, yes. Are you ready to be healed? Oh, yes. Here. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you praise. I give you praise for our sister Juliana. Lord, I speak healing to her left leg in Jesus' name. Touch your Lord. Touch that leg and heal, restore it completely, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise. I sense somebody has a cataract in the eye. You have a cataract in your eye? You do, sir? My right eye. Your right eye. God is going to heal it. Do you believe that? Yes. I didn't know that. I never met you. No. God told me. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Ready for that? right eye father god in the mighty name of jesus i pray what is your name sir melvin. melvin i believe that your right eye is healed by the power of god i speak to that cataract to disappear to be dissolved in the mighty name of jesus i thank you lord god for healing his right eye today tonight 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe you are, your eye is healed. I believe it's removed, praise God. I believe you are healed by the power of God. Now, do you see anything different in your right eye? See you. I can see you. You couldn't see me before? No, before it was blurry. Now is it better? Yes. Let me move back. Can you still see me? Yeah. I can see you. Can you still see me? Yes. It's okay. Yeah. You... Yes. Praise be to God. Can you still see me? Hallelujah. Is it better? I had surgery about two weeks ago. Yeah, and it was blurry. Yeah. It was it was bleeding and you couldn't see at all. Now you see. After surgery, it was blurry. But now? Yes, now I'm seeing. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Come on, give the praise to God. Father, I give you praise in the name of Jesus. I thank you for my brother's healing tonight in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus. You spirit of deafness, in Jesus' name, move! Thank you, Lord. Move! Ooh, I think, I think she's good. Close your left ear. Left, tell me. It is better? <laughs> Amen, precious God. That's the beginning of your healing. House of David, Jewish Messianic Ministry, is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.